Hi everyone, welcome to Pebbles channel. Today we are here to do some experiments and I am going to tell you how they work. We are going to learn the mechanism behind these experiments. Are you all ready? So let us begin. In this experiment, we are going to learn how pressure changes with depth. We have already learned about pressure and what is pressure? It is the force per unit area. And how this pressure varies with depth, we will prove through this experiment. For this experiment, you will need a bottle, preferably a plastic bottle, because we are going to be making holes. You will need water. And to be safe, you will need a tray under, because you're going, the water is going to spill and you don't want your workplace to get dirty. So shall we begin? We will begin by drilling three holes into the bottle at different heights. So I am using the scissors here. You need to be careful not to injure yourself. So you need to make three holes in the bottle at different heights. One towards the bottom, one in the center you need to be very careful when using sharp objects and finally the last one right on top so now you can see I have made three holes in the bottle one on top, one in the center and one towards the bottom. The next step is to fill in water in the bottle. But you need to make sure that you cover the holes either using modeling clay or since the holes are small here, I can use my finger. I am filling the bottle with water. Now when I release my fingers, let us see what happens. First observe what happens in the topmost hole when the finger is released. Did you see? The water didn't travel much distance. Now, when I release my finger from the second hole, you see, it travels a particular distance. And finally, the last hole travels the greatest distance. So, why does this happen? This is because as you go deeper, the pressure inside is more. Since the pressure is more, the force with which it pushes the water out is more. So, the water from the bottom most hole travels the most distance. The next hole, that is the hole in the center, allows the force is intermediate. It's not very high, not very low. So it travels a little lesser distance than from the bottom most hole. And finally, the topmost hole, here the pressure is the least compared to the other two holes. So the force is not that much, thus the water doesn't travel any great distance. So now I hope you understood how this is related to pressure and what you need to learn from this is that pressure increases with depth. So the deeper you go, the pressure is more and therefore the water moves a greater distance before falling into the vessel. Now I'll show you once again 
this time without closing the holes. Can you see the difference? So now, did you see the difference when the water came out from the bottommost hole and the center hole? Water did not come out from here because by the time this by the time this gets filled up, the water is already out from here because the pressure here is more compared to the top of the bottle.